What's up, everybody? It is Ronnie from Ashland, Oregon Auctions, and we are here with the leftovers from this box of pennies that I got from Wells Fargo. That we already pulled a bunch of Wheaties at it, and what's left of the uh, box that we did live. If you guys don't know, I do a live three times a week, 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, always. We're going to get right into it. Let's see how many of these we can't open. I found some cool background music. Again, this is Ashland, Oregon Auctions. If this is your first time here, please subscribe today for free. Let's see if we can't find something in here. And we're really looking for the... I haven't found a buffalo in a while. That's what I'm looking for. And the 50D, obviously. This one looks old. Is it? It is the number we never name. I'm going to show you guys my little what I'm trying to fill. I am trying to fill a penny. And I'm trying to fill... Nope. What we are looking for... And this is the last one that I found. I found a proof, too, out of these boxes. Looking for this. This is what I'm looking for. I love to find another buffalo. You never know. Usually I pick something up and I think it's old. It's just dirty. I want to thank you guys for uh, coming and hanging out today. I figured I would bust through this box so we can do a live together. That's brand new box. That's not old. So far we found a lot of Wheaties too out of this box. So that's a 78. Not old enough. Yeah, 3 billion of them made. All right, I don't see anything in that one. We are looking for buffalo. I'm looking for pre -60s. You guys be sure to go and uh, subscribe today for free. We are approaching the 12,000 subscriber mark. When we hit that, I am going to make a video and give away a bunch of coins. And a brand new coin microscope. Let's see. This one looks old. Do we got an oldie? Nope. See how it looked old? Because I'm getting fooled again. Be sure you check all the dates because just because it looks like it's new, it might just be something that hasn't been in circulation. I want to thank all of you guys. I know Deneen's probably already checked this out. Thank you so much. You rock. That's a D. Some of those new ones look like proofs and they are not. 88. Would love to find a buffalo with you. I said I would do a Sunday video, and here we are. Again, some of these 80s are looking like they're from, from the 60s. They've just been around. Waiting to find something old. Waiting to find another buffalo. That would be nice. I got my coin microscope out today. I'm going to give one of these away, these coin microscopes, once I hit 12,000 subscribers. Guys, be sure you go out and check out Silver Wolf. I'll put a link to his channel in. I'm trying to help him build his channel. And you might get free memberships. When you get <clears throat> memberships, I include uh, as soon as we're done with the lives, you get three or four hours and all the lives. End up going into members only, new videos, members only contests. Stuff like that. Let's see. We are doing nickels and pennies tonight. And I am your CJ for the video. CJ. I term that. That's not my name. It's Coin Jockey. Well, in the 80s looking like they sh they're 40s. There's one of those newer buffaloes. I don't really collect the newer coins what i'm really looking for is a 50 d that would be like my dream i could buy it and fill the book let's show you the book here 
All right, you guys look. There's my pennies. That's two volume ones. And, and the nickels, I'm trying to fill those spaces. And the 50 and the 50D I need, as you guys could see. And then the pennies, I am obviously missing the key ones to that first page. And that's the second page. Those are some nice uh, steel pennies I found, coin roll hunting. I'm trying to fill it. I didn't put hunt and fill in the title, but I should have, huh? All right, first fish on, you guys. Five minutes in, not bad. It's 41. I didn't see a mint mark. 41 Philly. Again, I have that. I got almost... I need the 39. I got all the 40s, I believe. Still cool. I've been doing more. Believe it or not, I've found more silver in the nickels than I have in the <clears throat> half dollars and quarters lately. All right, not bad. These nickel boxes I get from this certain bank always seem to impress me. We have found silver. Let's dig right into it. I'm going to do another one. Let's, let's see how many of these rolls we can get done. It'd be nice to get through this whole box. And again, I don't like to do the edit. I'm not good at editing. And I think doing it raw style like this, where I, I don't cut out, that's been the way I've been doing it. So I might change that up and do what everybody else does, which is edit. Just show you highlights. But a lot of people have told me they love the hunt. So it eats up a lot on the camera. But I think my style, my Kung Fu is good. I spotted that 64 from a minute away. This looks old. It is. Fish on, Deneen. I say Deneen because I know she's probably the first one that watches it. 58. Another winner, Joey. We got Joey, Mean Dean, Deneen. I wish I could remember all the names. Cuber, Noah, Farmel. You guys all rock. Those are usually, those are some of my first regs. Regulars. Seven minutes in, we've already found two vintage coins. I am Ronnie. I am the owner of Ashland, Oregon Auctions, and you are with me unrolling. You are unrolling with Ron. Try that. Take that light out. How's that? I think that's much better, right? Plus, I think when we do it like this, if I find something that's super duper, you can't say, oh, no, da, 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 da. You, you just watch me do it. Just like this 54. It's 54S. Not the one I need. But I'll take it. It's an S and it's 54. I wonder how many of those they made. Let's just take a quick peek. How many 54S's? Almost 30 million. Awesome. Found an S. 69. I know, and it's not live, so you guys can't say pull the camera back. I got to keep remembering that. It's a 62. I would love to find an Indian buffalo head with you. If you guys don't know, uh, we do big live streams. We are one of the most chillest live streams for late night. If you don't know, go check out some of the videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you should get notifications on when we go live. Sometimes you guys see it before me. It's a 61. It's close. But not close enough. 
And I have all the 60s and the, almost all the 50s. I need that 50D and I want to find it with you guys. The number we never name here on this channel when it comes to nickels. Go ahead, ask me why in the comment section below. This should tell you why. Old, found some old ones, but not old enough. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you guys are still here, the color of the day is pink. Pink is the color of the day. You guys know I wait about 10 minutes to give the color of the day. Color of the day is pink. Because we're in a spirit world. A little. Can you tell me what quote that movie is from? Let's see. Now, is it dirty, dirty and old, or is it just dirty? We are nickel and penny hunting. We are going through this box. I decided to start with the nickels. I don't like to keep bringing the camera in and out, so... You gotta look at it separately. A lot of times you guys see it before I do. There is the number again we never name. Hopefully you'll figure it out. 76. Looking for that buffalo. A lot of old coins, but not old enough in this roll. Last buffalo we found was the one I showed you earlier, but it didn't have a date on it, so. 79. And I'm looking through everything. I found a bunch of tracks to have in the background. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is a G-rated channel, so keep your comments G-rated. Be sure to hang out with us three times a week. At Ron's house, that is my house on Ashley World Auctions. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We are popping these rolls. I'm going to get it. This will be... We'll, we'll switch into some pennies here. I see some copper penny enders. I can't wait to see what's inside of them. All right, we're at three. Three pre-1960 nickels. One of them, I think, is a war nickel, but it's not silver. I want to thank you again and again, you guys, especially if you're still here from the beginning of the video. This channel is growing fast. So subscribe for free today. Like real fast. Like we were at 9,000, then we were at 10,000. Now we are almost at 12,000 subscribers, yo. That is a lot. 82. I know people say to look onto the back of the 64 for the full steps, but I do, and I've never found it. Really, what we're looking for is war nickels. That 50D, that 50 regular would also be nice to find. All right, we got five of them. Let's bust into some of these penny rolls. This one had a nice copper ender. Again, these Loomis rolls come from Wells Fargo. Sometimes I notice Loomis rolls seem to give better copper count. We are looking for Wheaties. Or something even rarer. That's a 92. Let's see if it's close AM. No, it is not. That's a nice bright red scent. Where's that one from? 94. Well, I thought that was going to be one, but it wasn't. I want to thank you guys so much for coming and checking out my long video. This is the first long video I put on in a minute, so... I want to thank you so much. If you're still here from the beginning, you are my biggest fans, and I love you. Let's see. 
Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 o'clock Pacific time, we go live. We do this live. We hang out. It's a cool channel. There's no drama. There's no politics. Two hours out of the day, we get to chill together and hang out like human beings. Fish on. Fish on. What is it? 40s? Looks like a 44 to me. Not bad. Good sign. First roll. Thought that was one too, but it's not. It's a 65 though. Yeah, and I don't see no double in or nothing, so. But it is copper. I do separate my copper when I get the time. Another shiny 92. Let's see. I do look at the 92s for the, the close AM. Because some of them have sold for a lot of money recently. Nope. Let's keep on rolling. You are on Rolling Wood Ron tonight. Again, I'm trying to fill a book. I got a lot of the, a lot of what I need. I'm just looking for the rare. All right, here we got shiny on one end, shiny on the other end. If my voice sounds familiar, please comment in the section below who you think my voice sounds like. You are hanging out with Ronnie today on this beautiful summer day. And we are going through coins. Looking for, and when I say fish on, if you've never been fishing, then that's what they say. Fish on, which means everybody on deck, pay attention. Do -do -do. Boom, 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 boom. I am not weighing all my pennies in this video. That looks old, huh? It's 70s. No, never know. Let's see if there's a weedy in here. All right, let's see if there's something in here. What was that one? Nope, that was the 71. We're looking for something different, something rare. Wheat penny. Hope I'm not too far away or too close. For y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. I have built this channel in 18 months. 18 months ago, I decided to take my normal, just my normal Ronnie Loudon channel and change it into a treasure hunting coin channel. And here we are, folks. You guys, be sure you come into the lives. We have fun. Again, that is Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I want to thank everybody out there. I want to thank Big and Dave for inspiring me. He is one of the inspirations when I started watching his video. Same thing with Rob Fine's Treasure and Quinn's Coins. If you guys don't know them, go check them out. Because they're the one, them three specifically inspired me a lot. I was like, oh. And I just happened to be in the bank around the same time period setting up a new account. And just by chance, my friend Mike, who worked at the bank, said, Hey, I got these dollar rolls that no one picked up. And boom, that's where it started. No, I don't see anything too old in this one, y'all. Boom. 20 minutes in. Let's do a nickel one again. Let's see what we find. That does look old, right? Let's see if it's 60s. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below what kind of coins you would like me to open next. This is this week's long video. 
Now, I think we have something. I think. It looks like it. And it's not. It is the Notorious. If you don't know, you don't know where you've been. This one looked old too, but is it the same? It is. It's just dirty. Nickels can be very deceiving. If you guys agree with me, please uh, leave a like in the comment section below. I always find these and think they're a proof at first because they're so shiny. It's just amazing how some of the backs of the... There is that number again. Three billion made. Not a fan. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Checking out this video. See how the back of an 80s can look old. And then sometimes you might pass by one. Because it looks too good and it's actually old. So... It's always good to check them all. See what I mean? Over and over and over. That 60s one pops up. Sometimes the 90s stuff can be deceiving too if it gets worn out. See what I mean? There she is again. That is why we do not need the number. You guys are hanging out with me. Run, you are unrolling for the day. I post everything at night so you guys can just chill and relax. Maybe go through your coin collection as I do this. I was told by many people I, I, I couldn't build a channel that would profit or do anything because I was older, because I'm an X generation. They didn't understand. Be sure to go check out the storage unit auction. I got another one coming up soon. So that's how I keep the coin channel going. I go out and I find stuff and I flip it and pays the bills most of the time. Pishon. Let's see what it is together. So you guys see it before me. That's old. Wow. We just pulled a teener out. Now, this might be the oldest one I pulled out of a bankroll. Not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like an 18. And it is. It's an 18 plane, even though I think I got it. I will gladly take that in a federal bankroll any day, right? That is nice. Got a couple scratches on it, but over a hundred years old. Found in a normal roll. And you watched it. I didn't edit it. There it was. One of the benefits of just going for the hunt with me. Boom. Fish on. Fish on, Deneen. That is our PR awesome cheerleader person. Nice. That's the oldest one I have ever found in a bankroll. Nice. Real nice, y'all. Nineteen eighty. Not bad. Nineteen eighteen. So far we've found over a hundred year old penny. That is all a cent because America never made a penny. I'm gonna start some uh merchandise soon. You guys will be able to go just go to the shop and buy it shirts with cool sayings like uh my wife likes cdo and uh, stuff like that america never made a penny it only makes sense stuff like that i don't know what do you guys think this song like cool slogans or what boom first canadian first canadian of the video and it is a 59 Again, the color of the day is pink, in case you guys weren't paying attention. Nice, 59 Canadian. So far, it's been an awesome hunt, eh? Mm -hmm. Eh? That's a 91. Looking for another weedy. 
see if we can't top the 1918. We just found over a hundred year old scent. And a Loomis Federal Roll, which is awesome. Maybe we got part of a, a bank dump or something. Awesome. I mean, it looks worn. Let's keep popping these penny rolls. Dun, dun. Again, I want to thank you guys over and over. If you've been watching the video from the beginning and you're still here, you are my rock stars. And it's a 93, but she's a shiner. Got a cool shine to it, cool tone. We are looking for old pennies. Oh, we got another one. Got another one. Fish on. Set the drag. Look at there. I don't want to blow it up too much because then it gets blurry on you guys from what I understand. So, this is. It's not super old, but it's a 57D. It's a 57 Denver. Pretty sweet. So far, this bank box is the best penny box I've gotten in a while. Thought that was going to be one. Because it just has that dark copper color, but it's just a 63D. We'd love to find a DDO. Be sure you weigh your 80s, especially 83. I've seen a couple of those sold for crazy money. Because the weight was off. 66. I got a red scent for you. Let's see. Let's do another one of these pennies. We are only 27 minutes in. Now, our live streams go sometimes for three hours, so if this is a long video to you, uh, this is not one of our long videos. I figured this would be the best way to do it. None edited. So you can see if I'm pulling it, if I'm pulling it with you, no highlighting. I'm not really good at the editing yet, so this it just works out. I'd rather you come for the hunt with me. Boom, I got one on. Right off the bat. See, I have a hard time seeing it. So you guys see it before I do. She's a 44 during the war. Awesome. Right off the bat, found another one. It's been a good penny box. And I found the oldest penny I've ever found in a actual out in the wild box. 1918. Awesome. 77. I do look through other dates, even if they don't have the back, because you never know. Might happen to spot a DDO. I want to thank you guys again and again. Because you ain't never had a friend like me. Let's pop a couple more nickels, see if we can't hit our buffalo. Looking for a buffalo. Got four more rolls of this last box from when we went live together last night. If you didn't catch the live, be sure to catch the next one, 8 o'clock. On Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I thought it was old to 70. Make sure you check them all, even if you think they're new. If they have any sign of age, because it might be something that's never been in circulation and you just happen to be the lucky one who found it first. 1980. Seventies. Oops. I get lost in checking every day. I don't want to do that to you. It's got a cool tone to it, but I don't think it's anything. No, nope, it's a D. Cool tone to it, but anything. Nope, it's an 80. 
You guys are hanging out with me, Ronnie, and you are unrolling coins with me till we finish these boxes. I've even thought about doing a really long video just to see, just to see where it goes, you know? Like open two whole boxes like a live stream with no editing. It's just raw dog. Going back into pennies. Since. Why? Because America never made a penny. I want to thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. To all my loyal subscribers, thank you so much. I did not make this video members only because I wanted everybody to see it. I will put a video out tomorrow of members only. We got so many members so quick, I kind of was overwhelmed. Yes, I do separate it when I get the chance. We are just rocking through this box, y'all. 31 minutes in, and we are rocking it. Like I said, no editing. Just straight hunting with Ron. You are unrolling with Ron. We do this late night live streams a lot, so go check it out. Now that is one shiny red scent. Yep, it's a 91. Nothing super special. Another Canadian on board. Great year, too. 71. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Got a collection of coins so far from this hunt. Haven't found a thing to put in my filler, but we did find that 1918, which is awesome. Now, I found Indians before, but I've never found them in an actual bank roll. A lot of them are, are coming out of the mystery roll. Let's keep going. Let's see this one and that one. Let's see what's in the middle. You guys, be sure you subscribe today. Become a member. Become a silver level member. I only made one level to join. Nothing in that one. You guys are unrolling with the rod. This is Ashland, Oregon Auctions. We bill hunt. We treasure hunt. We storage unit hunt. We do a lot of coin roll hunting. Be sure to go check out all of my other videos, which is almost 900 videos. That is right. Ronnie has been working hard in 18 months. There is almost 900 videos for you guys to go watch. Nope. That's two in a row, folks. That said 54 and it said 84. Look how bright and shiny that one is, right? But again, it's not a proof. It's just a D. Thirty-four minutes in, yo. Let's go through another nickel. Nickel nickel. It'd be cool to find a buffalo, right? could say I found a buffalo and a team tonight with you guys. We only got three more rolls of these left from that last box. And this box produced a lot of old coins. That's why I've, uh, that's why I've gone to doing more nickels than anything lately. They seem to produce the older coins. So 
don't know. Maybe nobody's looking through them. Like they are the quarters and the halves trying to go after the silver. That's an 80. Nope. Just want one buffalo to find with you. If you guys are still here from the beginning, you are a rock star to me. Hang out, get yourself something to drink. We're going to get through another roll. 30-something minutes in, and we are rocking this box, you guys. No editing, no highlighting. Going on the hunt with Ron. Does Deneen say it? You are unrolling with Ronnie today. All right. See, and it looks old, and it's not old. But that's typical with the nickels. All right, doesn't that look like it could be a proof, but they're not. The proof would have a, a real much more shine to it. But for a second, they always look like they could be. Like that one. That looks like it could. It's just a really nice 62. It's a nice 62D. I'm going to keep it to the side. No buffalo, huh? Really want to find a buffalo with you while we do this like this. I'm sure you guys want me to find a buffalo. This one looks old, has it? And did I overlook it? No. 81. We only got three of those rolls left. Let's keep pumping it. Let's find that buffalo. Buffalo! I'm Ronnie. I am your coin jockey for this video. I am the owner of Ashland, Oregon Auctions, and we find a lot of old stuff, including coins. Let's see what we find. This looks old. Finally get another fish. Waiting. Nope, just the dirty 80s. Seventy-three. The music you are hearing in the background is through YouTube's Creator Studio. It's a nice 69. It's not old enough, but it's nice. Ninety-nine. Eighty-eight. Really hunting for the fifty and the buffalo. Two more rolls left out of that box of nickels. Boom. If this is your first time here and you guys are still here from the beginning of the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once I get up to 12,000 subscribers, I'm going to do my first official giveaway since monetization. I want to thank Google and YouTube for helping me get monetized. I want to thank vidIQ. VidIQ helped me a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Now it's a dirty nickel. I thought it was a penny for a second. Nope. It's just an 81. Heartbreaker. I always say I'm not going to get fooled again, but then I always get fooled again. Fish on. Shh. What is that? Where is it good for you guys? All right. Right there. It's a 53. It's a 53S. Again, I have it, but that's definitely a nice addition. 53S. Find old stuff in the nickel boxes lately. That's why I've been doing so many of them. And I'm trying to fill in this spot. Soundtrack's a little loud in the back. Thought that was something, and it's a 99. That's why sometimes you gotta check, check 74. Nickels can be very deceiving. The three billion made. 
All right. One more, huh? Let's see. Let's see what's inside. The list is the last roll out of that nickel box that we started on our live stream together. Haven't found the buffalo from this box. Haven't found a buffalo in two nickel boxes now. Let's see if we can't break that. I see old, but I don't see a buffalo, but you never know. It could be under there. Oh, just dirty. 87. All right, another fish on. 57. Not too bad. 57. Let's see if it's got a mark. I do not see a mark. It's a 57 Billy. Not bad. Not bad. Love to find one every other roll. That's a dream. One in every roll is a big dream. Nickel, uh, the nickel boxes have been keeping keeping me happy, keeping me into it. 90s, 70s. See, this look old for a second. 74. I get excited when I find one. Thinking I might find another. It's twin. Sitting in the same roll. 78. 2001, 96. Nope, that was the last roll out of that box. See, sometimes the 70s can look like a 50s. You guys are chilling. Unrolling with Ronnie today. Unrolling the week away. All right, we are down to a small amount of rolls of pennies. Let's see. Do you see what I see? 42 minutes in. We're rocking it. This is a lot of rolls to go through this quick, right? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit that thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next time we go live. It's a nice rainbow color. I don't know what year it is. It's a 79D. She just got some cool toning to her. Pretty cool. Looking for that another wheat penny or a DDO would be even better. I want to thank all of you guys. For all the support, this channel has been just growing and growing and growing. All right, let's find us something. So far, we've gotten, this is what we've pulled so far. Not bad. With the oldest penny being 1918 out of this box. Be nice to break that right i don't know if we're gonna get luckier than finding a 1918 penny because that's a pretty good hit let's keep on going uh 12 rolls i think is what's left yeah, and I said I was going to say, see how many I can do. See if I can do this in 60 minutes. So far, we are, seem to be on target. I do not separate when I do videos this fast. I will go through them later, though. Right now, we are looking for wheat pennies or something rare. Do another one. I'm just pumping these rolls out for you guys. Please hit that thumbs up button. Please leave a comment as it helps with the algorithm. And if you really like it, uh, you guys can always join to be a member. We have over 100 members so far, which is awesome. Nope. Another one bites dust and another one down. 
You guys just want me to keep going. I know you do. Let's see what's in the next one. Boom, boom, boom. Come on now. I hit it when they stick. A couple burnt out looking ones. Oh, finally got one. Fish on, you guys. Not bad. It looks like a 34. It is 34. And again, I believe I have the 34, and I do. I have all the 30s. I need a 31. And I need all the 31s. Still pretty cool. 34 wheat penny. 90 years old. Out of a Loomis bank roll. Some people say, isn't this boring? A lot of stuff is boring. This isn't boring to me. And wouldn't it just be awesome to find a super valuable penny from a bank? Nothing there, folks. We are getting down there. One, two, three, four. I think we got ten rolls left. We are going to meet the mark, which would be awesome. A lot of great finds, right? I am Ron. I am the owner of Ashland, Oregon Auctions, and you are watching a coin show where we unroll roll. I like to say this because so many new people come in and ask me what I'm doing or what we're doing. Love to find a rare one, though, you know, something super rare with you. That looks like copper copper. It's 83. I'm going to weigh it. If you found anything after 82. And it weighs off. It might be worth a good amount of money in case you don't know. Now you know. Yes, I am standing during this whole show for you guys. Come on, let's beat that 1918. I don't think we're going to do it, but let's try, right? That is the oldest of the coins we have found today. We actually found a teen weedy. This box comes from Wells Fargo. We hear a rock and I think we're down to eight rolls. You guys, a rock. If you've been here watching from the beginning, thank you. Gracias, my paisan. Again, I'm going to put it out there. You guys go and check out Silver Wolf's channel. I put the link in the description below. Go check him out. Good guy. Subscribe to his channel today. He's trying to hit 50 subs. Let's help him out. Noah's World's the same way. I'll try to put a link in for his too. I am jamming with the new creator music. It's still on its beta version testing, so. Again, I don't see anything. I don't want to lose my stride. Nothing's going to slow me down. Oh no. I got to keep moving. Not even 50 minutes in. Nice. We are going to hit our mark, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much. Color of the day is pink, in case you're not paying attention. Oh, 
I thought that was going to be one right there. Not only are we looking for a wheat, we're looking for an older than 1918 wheat. One, two, four, five. Well, we do have six left. This will be one of the longest videos I've made in a minute. I love finding the older stuff still to show that there's still old stuff out there to be found. That's a 61. Thought it was going to be way older. I'm not even dumping the change at this point, Euro, you know. I'm just going to push it back just like that. Here we go. Another one up. We are looking for Wheaties or something older. Said I wanted to finish these whole, this penny and this nickel box with you guys from our live stream. That way we can start brand new on the live stream on Monday. That just really beat up. Oh, there we go. Boom. Fish on. Got another one. 51D. Not bad. I want to thank all you guys out there. Make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button for me. Not bad. Not as cool as that last weedy, but that's still pretty cool. Boom. Two in one roll. Look at that. That is awesome. I love two first. Two for one, right? Just like a 40s. Boom. Two in one roll. That is awesome. I will definitely be picking more boxes up from Wells Fargo. Not bad at all. Two in one roll. Love that. So far we found our oldest penny and two in one roll. That is awesome. We are breaking some kind of records. Going to try to get a thousand views on this so you guys help me by sharing this video share it on your social media let me know what you think of the music in the background what you'd like to hear more rock more pop more classical looking to hit at least 30 comments in the section of this video I am giving away five or six old rolls of coins coming up as soon as we hit 12,000 subscribers. And I'm giving away a free coin microscope. Some shiny, shiny pennies. Just not what I'm looking for. Two in one. That was the best roll, I think, so far beside the 1918. Four rolls. This is the... We got five rolls left. Four after this. 53 minutes. We are rocking this today. How long does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? One, two, three. Oh, I thought that was going to be one, you guys. Nope. Let's keep going. Four rolls to go. If you've been here since the beginning of the video, give yourself a big shout out. We're going to try to hit a thousand views on this video. Make sure you come in for our lives every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Where we do this and we just hang out, we talk, no politics, no stress, no drama. It's one of the coolest, mellowest, chillest live streams for late night. Well, opposite of that. Boop. Let's keep going. 54 minutes in. You guys rock if you've been here since the beginning. Two rolls after this. We're getting down there.
we're gonna hit our mark you guys and we found a lot of cool old money baby i got your money and it ain't funny two rolls to go what a mess i make i make a mess you guys get to hang out and leave and i get to clean it all up find anything to add to the books today but found a lot of old stuff I have the 1918 penny so boom boom baby boom shaka laka laka boom it's a 54d not bad Nice, real nice, y'all. We found a lot of great stuff out of this. Is that another one? No. Almost got excited. Almost got two toopers. Again, we're trying to hit the ultimate subscriber mark. Last roll of the video. Let's see. Oh, I know. I, I souped you in and I forget you guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm touching the camera. I try not to touch the camera. One more. Come on. Who's it going to be? That was awesome. I even blew the glove out like a tire in a car. You guys have been chilling out with Ronnie on Rolling with Ron. This is what we do. And this is how we do it. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out for this hour with me. Let me see if I can put all this on the board. This is what we found. Nice, all right? No silver, but a lot of cool nickels. No buffaloes, but still. Do a quick pop through review on uh, this isn't special, but it's so shiny from 62. I decided to keep it. We got a cool Canadian Wheaties. The oldest weedy is the 1918 for the night. That is that one right there. Sweet, right? That is the oldest one of the night. Bunch of weedies and another Canadian. This was a pretty good show. This is shiny, and I'm going to weigh it. 79. It just seems heavy. I could be off. Never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. To give you an idea, we didn't get to put anything in the coin books, but look at the mess I make for you guys. I will clean it all up, and we will get ready to do a live tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Pacific time. Be there or be square. Thank you guys so much. I am Ron from Ash and Oregon Auctions, and uh, you have been unrolling with Ronnie. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button as you are leaving the theater. This has been a great episode. We have found some cool stuff, and we got to hang out for an hour. I will be making another long video and posting that on Tuesday. Color of the day is pink, and you guys rock. If you've been here through the entirety of the show, two thumbs up, peace and love. Give me a shout out. You guys, make sure you comment as much as you can in the comment section. Let's try to fill that up, because the more comments I get the more flow the channel gets. We are at 59 seconds to go. 45, 46. I am Ron from National and Oregon Auctions. I want to thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow live. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Peace. Head on a swivel. Love ya. Later.